2018, a show designed for you that Daily Commuter went live. Well, folks, dreams do come true. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin, and this is our first episode. A weekly show all about faith. Every day, we're going to battle storms. We're going to face challenges. But we have to remember that we're not going to do it alone. We have to have faith. A show with motivational topics. As you go into work today, don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Lift your head up high and know that God is with you. Inspirational stories and personal testimony set out to change the world. My wife and I are expecting our first child. I'm going to be a father. Santana. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this live edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. It is Positive Tuesday. That's right, everyone. Positive Tuesday. The reason why I just chuckled is because I have had a roller coaster 48 hours, folks. It has been brutal, but that's okay because I still got to find the positive in this negative because if my daughter can just sleep one night, it would be a blessing. Uh, the last 48 hours, I am on about three and a half hours of sleep. Uh, it has been brutal. Um, I I have no words to describe what we're going through. Um, it's just it's just brutal. Uh, my daughter, as you all know, is 11 months, closing in on one year. And um, what can I tell you? It's just been really difficult. Um, and I, I, you know, they, you know, they say as a parent, you you. You go through it, you battle your storm, and uh, boy, am I in it. Uh, real quick, just to let you know, uh, she was crying so much that we finally, I just said, you know what? I put her in the uh, car seat, loaded her up nice and warm. We got in the car, and at 1 o'clock in the morning, I started driving around my town until she fell asleep, and that did the trick. It was, yeah, it's been brutal. <laughs> um, she eventually woke up multiple times, but... It wasn't the screaming and all that, but, you know, that's all you could do. You know, that's all you could do is just um, do the best you can to the best of your ability, and you move forward. Okay, so, the reason why I said that is because I sound probably hoarse this morning uh, on the lack of sleep. Real quick business, if it's okay, for those of you that are just joining our platform, welcome. My name is Angel, the host of Have Faith, Let It Begin. We are available every single weekday at 7.30 a.m., and we're live. And I uh, want to give a quick shout-out again to loloclicks.com. Uh, that's exactly right, loloclicks.com. Uh, go there if you're looking for any type of um, any type of uh, photos uh, for events or anything like that, special occasions. She just did our, our families, and uh, it's phenomenal. Um, she did a great job. So good job, Lauren. I'm just so happy about it. Also, in addition to that, quick shout-outs to um, everyone out there that has been supporting us. My uh, wife's uh, jewelry store is coming out November 16th and 17th, two-day event. Um, that's going to be um, in the, our town. Look at our descriptions on our page, our like page, uh, Facebook, and they'll tell you more detail. Reminder to everybody, we're going to be live yet again November 17th. That's a Sunday morning, November 17th at 10 a.m. I will be preaching for my church, and we'll be broadcasting that live. All right, right into the, right into the music we go, right into the show we go, I should say. Positive Tuesday. That's become our new theme on Tuesdays. Folks... Just like I was using as an example, no matter how negative things can get, no matter how backed up of a corner you can get, the number one thing that you have to remember is that God is in control. Now, last night, I'm holding Ariel, and she's screaming. She is literally, I don't know if she was in pain. I mean, I weighed out all the different options that I had. I knew she was fed. She didn't want any more milk. She didn't have a temperature. I checked her root and the bottom of her mouth. She's still teething a little bit on the top. That's where I think this is all coming from. Um, we, I even changed uh, and checked out her clothing, made sure that there was no, she's got eczema. So I was making sure that she didn't have any uh, type of itching going on because I had the cream ready to go. And finally, you know, the diaper change, there was nothing in the diaper. Um, and she just was upset. She was crying. Um, what they say is that she may have been overstimulated. I was reading uh, our baby books, and um, and this happens. Sometimes they get a nightmare, they get a night terror, and they just don't know how to react to it. Um, so even at one point, I opened up the Bible. As many as you know, uh, if you don't know, when I was a baby, I went through the similar thing with my mom, and my mom just didn't know what else to do. She called my grandmother, and my grandmother said, Open the Bible, open the Bible. 
and my mom did and and at that moment when she opened the bible um, i settled down and i eventually went to bed so everywhere i go wherever i'm gonna sleep anywhere that i go i always have the bible with me and i always open it and um i've done that since i was a kid um and well i've had it in my room since i was a kid and as i got older i got explained the story and i followed through with that so last night i grabbed the bible which we already have one in her room but i grabbed my particular bible that i use uh, on a daily basis for preaching and such and such stuff and I opened it up put my hand down and held her and prayed with her and you know at one time she settled a little bit but then ultimately she was just not having it um, so you know we're going to go through different types of things look at me in the last 48 hours you know not much sleep and yet I still wake up and I'm still smiling even though I'm exhausted, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm really tired. Part of me wanted to just do a pre-recorded episode today. I wanted to record something or put something on from last week or, you know, or from the past. But I said, I got to do a show. I got to have people see me go through my own storms. Even though I tell you about my past or storms that have been going on, I, you know, I'm in it. <clears throat> I am completely in it. And um, it hurts. Um, at points, I wanted to cry. Because, you know, as a father, your your baby can't really communicate with you yet. And you, you just want her to talk so she can tell you what's wrong. And uh, she couldn't do that. So the best thing you can do is you soothe her. And the best thing you do is just pray to God and say, that God, I know you're in control, but I need help. I could use your help right now. And uh, I, I believe in the long run, he provided it. Um, because even though I had short, I'm not really short amount of sleep, I feel like I've gotten the strength that I needed today to face work and to go on the road and to be here with you gotta give a quick shout out we're gonna turn this into another positive to ashley and mike congratulations they have made it official they are engaged and this is a couple that i've had the privilege and the honor of watching grow and i am just so happy for you oh i hit the medium there uh, i am so happy for you ashley and Mike, Ashley, as I said it from you many years ago, from the day I met you, it was only time before you found the love of your life, your Prince Charming, and he is now there. So I wish you nothing but the very best. And I cannot wait to share in your moment uh, on your wedding day. It is going to be a blessed day and a day that we will never forget. Folks, if you have a chance, if you go to our Facebook page at Half Faith Let It Begin, if you see her name on there, just you know, give her a quick... Congratulations. She definitely deserves it. So let me end today's episode this way. Despite our differences as individuals, despite the storms that we may battle, the obstacles that we have to overcome, if you ever feel that there's nothing more that you can do, it's okay to pray to God just like I did last night. I said the following. Heavenly Father, I cannot do this by myself. I need you, God. Please help me. I am at wit's end. I don't feel like I have any energy left. I need you to please provide me strength. Lord, I love you and I trust in you to do what is right for my daughter and for myself and for my family. And as we pray today, Lord, I thank you for last night. I thank you for giving me the option to say, you know what, let me take my car and drive Ariel around town. And then she was able to go into a nice peaceful sleep and for that Lord I thank you I thank you for giving me the opportunity to stay awake for having the energy to drive for having the ability to put her back down and then go into my bed and fall asleep Lord I pray for the viewers of this show anyone right now that is driving and battling a storm anyone that has just finished a storm Lord I ask you to come into their hearts to whisper their e into their ears as the Holy Spirit says, God is here. I am here. I believe in you. I will never leave your side. And I pray this as we pray for our military personnel, foreign and domestic, our first responders, our EMTs, our doctors, our half faith, let it begin viewers, those that are battling cancer, those that are recuperating and dealing with rehabilitation those that are finally home, those that are battling their work, their bosses, their list of duties. We pray for Brian and 
give him courage. We pray for Sigfredo and his family. We pray for Ashley and new beginnings, for Mike and his big heart. We pray for Chip and his daughter. We pray for my family, your families, and all those that are in need of prayer. Keep us safe, Lord. Keep us safe. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. And also a quick shout out to the boiler man that came out to my house. If you're watching or listening to this show, Steve did a great job. No more knocks. The heat came on. No more knocks. He is phenomenal. Great guy. And uh, I look forward to seeing him uh, very soon. For everybody else, have a great positive Tuesday. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. You're going to hear episodes of me recording live as my daughter in the background, Ariel, will probably cry. You'll hear background noises like phone calls and right on the cue, she's starting to cry. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to continue on like never before. And with Ariel in the background, knowing that in the future you're going to hear yourself crying like this, Mama, yeah, say hi to everybody out there. We just want to encourage each and every one of you to join us every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Join me, Ariel, my family, and everyone as we continue our journey. For Half Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel. Say goodbye, Ariel. Say bye. And bye. <laughs>